Hello and welcome to Hillbilly DVD Reviews. Grimy ass summer's almost over, September is here, and we want to take this opportunity to do a retrospective of one of our favorite actors. So all month long, we're going to turn September into Spader Timber. That's right, we're going to do four films in a row of one of Hillbilly DVD Reviews' favorite actors, James Spader, showcasing some of his best and brightest work from the 80s and 90s. First up, we have a little exploitation movie showcasing one of James Spader's first major roles. The New Kids. New Kids is a little exploitation movie from 1985 directed by Sean S. Cunningham. If that name sounds familiar to you, it's because he launched the Friday 13th franchise. New Kids starts out showcasing an army family with a mom, a dad, a daughter, a son. Both the kids are about 16, 17 years old. Movie starts out with fucking hard ass drill sergeant daddy, fucking Tom Atkins, waking up his kids at 5 o'clock in the morning. The daughter's played by Lori Lofton from Full House, and the son's played by some motherfucker named Shane and Presby. Anyway, he wakes him up, and that's the thing, fucking Tom Atkins is like a big genre favorite now because he always plays like the grizzled motherfucker and shit. I know people love Tom Atkins, but I don't know about some of his roles as a fucking actor. I swear he plays cinema's most inappropriate fucking dad. First, he fucking bangs down the son's door, says, Hey, son, come on, get up out of bed. What's wrong? You've been jerking off all night? Okay, a little fucking, you know, poor taste, questionable thing to say to your son, but then things get really fucking creepy when he goes into the room with Lori Laughlin. He actually climbs into bed with her. He starts telling her to get up, and he says some shit about, you know, being in the army. He's got to make enough money to, you know, put her sexy little body in them tight designer jeans, and he fucking smacks her in the ass. And then he fucking gives her a kiss and walk away. I don't know, man. Tom Atkins, I don't think he should be playing fathers in movies anymore. But hey, that's just me. So basically, what happens is Tom Atkins and the mom, they go off for the weekend. He's going to accept a big award in Washington. Anyway, he goes away. The kids are there. They order up fucking a pizza, Popeye's chicken and shit. All their friends are around. They're hanging out, having a party. They get a phone call. Turns out fucking mom and dad died in a fucking car accident. Cut to the funeral, the kids are devastated, they don't know what they're gonna do. Out of nowhere, all of a sudden, some fucking yokel uncle comes out of nowhere. Hey, I'm your fucking Uncle Charlie and shit, I wanna take you kids in. Come on, live with me and your aunt down in Florida. So the kids go down to Florida, turns out fucking Uncle Charlie is a real cracker ass motherfucker. He bought some rundown fucking theme park called Santa's fucking Funland and shit. Now, when I say amusement park in Florida, I don't mean like a little miniature Disney World shit. This is the most raggedy ass thing you've ever fucking seen. It's like a field with just a bunch of little shitty tin shacks put into it. They got a petting zoo and they got a fucking broke down roller coaster. That fucking, I swear, it looks like it loops around fucking about 15 feet. This is the shittiest fucking <laughs> amusement park you ever want to see. I don't know why anybody would want fucking come here on vacation. So anyway, the kids get there, and good old Uncle Charlie, he means well and everything, but he shows them where they're going to live. Man, he puts them in a, I'm not bullshitting, he puts them in a fucking storage shed full of rusty tools and shit. It, I mean, cobwebs out the fucking ass, man. Dracula wouldn't be caught dead living in this shit. So they show up for the first day of school, and this is where the cast really starts to get interesting. You got Eric Stoltz playing kind of like a nerdy guy, trying to be nice to Lori Laughlin and shit. Then Shana Presby, he's got some little hot-ass blonde following him around. I don't know who the actress is, but she's fucking hot, man. She fucking wears a sweater, and like no bra, and always like hard-ass nips and shit. So initially, things are actually looking kind of up at this school and everything. The next thing you know, the trouble starts to come to play. There's like a little hillbilly gang. Fucking Eddie Dutra is the leader, played by James Spader. And like, as soon as you see James Spader, you know something's weird to him. Like, I don't know why or like whose choice this was, the director, Spader, who, but they fucking bleach his hair, they bleach his eyebrows. He looks like a fucking creepy ass albino in this movie, man. And what's funny is, even though he's got the creepy albino vibe going on, he walks around town, around school, like he's just hot shit, man. Fucking grabbing girls' asses, fucking being all rude and shit. Then fucking Spader's right hand man, played by John Philbin, fucking surfer turn actor. He's been in a lot of movies, man, like Children of the Corn, Return of the Living Dead, Point Break. He's kind of like this goober named Gideon. He's like a real farmer type goober. Then you got the rest of the gang in the background. They, you know, there's nobody really memorable playing these motherfuckers. They're just kind of like there's a fat hillbilly. There's a couple just like real brain dead hillbillies don't know shit. So Spader and Philbin, they see Lori Laughlin. They're like, oh, the new girl, blah, blah, blah. So they make a bet with each other. Hey, man, I'll bet you 50 bucks. Spader says, I'm going to fuck her first. Then Philbin says, no, I'm going to fuck her first. So, you know, they all want to fuck Lori Laughlin. But the thing about it is, is like, they never take into a fact that, like, maybe she'll say no. Maybe she don't want to fuck anybody. Maybe she's a virgin. Who fucking knows? Spader has a real creepy scene where he shows up to fucking Santa's Funland. They have a little gas station out front that the kids work at. So Lori Laughlin comes out and pumps some gas. Fucking Spader's driving a straight-ass fucking 70s rape van. He pulls up. She puts the gas in the car. 
Next thing you know, he's saying, hey, why don't you go on a date with me and shit? And she's like, no, nah, sorry, I don't even know who you are and shit. And he's like, he's like, but I'm asking you. So he's all over Lori Laughlin going, why don't you go to the dance with me and all this shit. And as soon as she says no, like, he starts acting real creepy. Fucking, he says all this shit, he gets mean, he fucking drives away. Cut to the next day of school, now it's John Philbin's turn. Lori Laughlin, she's looking at some fucking microfish in the library. He comes up, he starts groping her and shit, getting all inappropriate. Starts rubbing himself all over. And she's like trying to get him to back off and shit. He asks her out. You know, he's putting on all his hillbilly fucking charm, which ain't much, man. I, like, I don't know why these fuckers think they're such studs. He's telling her, hey, my name's Gideon, but everybody just calls me Gideon. <laughs> I swear he utters this stupid redneck shit. And he acts like Lori Laughlin is supposed to stand right there in the fucking library, yank her panties down and fucking get to fucking him. Uh, so Lori Laughlin blows him off even harder than she blew off James Spader. Next thing you know, Philbin's being all nasty. He's hocking a big loogie all over the fucking desk she was sitting at and shit. This fucking shit is gross. I don't know how these motherfuckers ever thought they were going to get pussy, but clearly they have no clue how to talk to women. Now the fucking boundaries are crossed. The fucking hillbilly gang's pissed off. They're going to teach these uppity new kids a fucking lesson. What do they do first? First they go and spray paint Santa's fun land. Then they fuck up their uncle's car. Then they fucking pull all this prank shit. Now, the brother Shannon Presby, he ain't like a badass motherfucker. He ain't looking for a fight, but he ain't gonna stand for this shit, goddammit. So what he does is he breaks into fucking James Spader's house while he's fucking sleeping. Fucking Spader's got some fucking, I don't know, fucking Spader was sleeping in some Speedos or some shit. Anyway, he climbs through the window. He jumps on fucking Spader, fucking wearing his fucking tidy whitey Speedos. He fucking pulls him up, got a knife to his throat, tells Spader, Hey, motherfucker, you ain't gonna fuck with me, fuck with my uncle's car. Give me some fucking money for the damages. So they go over to the closet. Fucking Spader's got this big fucking box of weed, man. Like, big pounds of weed. Fucking, he got about 30 joints already fucking rolled, which I don't really understand. Like, was he selling these joints or what? Like, who wants to buy a fucking joint with some of the motherfucker dealer spit on it and shit and then smoke that shit up? But anyway, so Spader's got his drug stash. He's got his cash stash. The fucking kid takes the money and off he goes. So now that Shannon Presby went, attacked fucking Spader in his home, you know fucking Spader is evil. I by no ass ain't gonna be standing for this shit, goddammit. So he rounds the fucking boys up. There's a local dance going on. He fucking goes. He kidnaps Lori Laughlin. Takes her back to Santa's Funland. Fucking gets a hold of Uncle. I don't know where the fuck the aunt went, but she's just gone. Fucking gets a hold of the uncle. This hillbilly gang so evil, man. They're gonna make the uncle watch while they all gang rape fucking Lori Laughlin and shit. They got a dog there. I guess when they're done fucking going to gang rape Lori Laughlin, they're gonna fucking sick this dog on her, eat her face off and all this shit. So the brother, he figures out back at the dance, his sister's been kidnapped and shit. He fucking rushes back to Santa's fucking fun land. And then that's where the big fucking finale, I won't ruin it, all kinds of shit happens. It's really hardcore. It's pretty damn fucking exciting, I gotta tell you what. And while the new kids might not break any ground as far as being like original story and shit, you know, all the new kids coming to a school getting fucked with by evil bullies and shit, all the shit's been done before. I really give Sean S. Cunningham credit for taking this shit to dark fucking places, fucking making it super violent. And really, to me, what makes this fucking movie is James Spader. He's so fucking creepy looking, little albino and shit, man. I'll tell you what. Probably the scariest thing in the world, other than getting chopped up by fucking Jason Voorhees, would be fucking albino James Spader hiding out in the bushes, getting ready to fucking rape your sister. That shit is terrifying. So the new kids having a true fucking evil villain in Spader, and fucking have some real kind of tenacious, fucking kind of nasty scenes of violence and shit. For this type of genre movie, they did it really good. I'm going to have to give the new kids 8.5 out of 10. I really fucking enjoyed it. Picture and sound this being a DVD of a fucking old movie from the mid 80s and fucking being obscure and that. So of course fucking Sony who put this out, they weren't going to go all out on it, but it's still not bad. Picture quality is anamorphic, it kind of looks a little flat, kind of looks a little washed out. But, you know, it looks pretty fucking film-like. There's no real fucking major artifacts and shit. Unfortunately, the audio is only stereo because obviously that's the soundtrack that they had back then. They didn't do like a surround sound remaster and shit. So the fucking picture being a little flat and the sound only being stereo. The DVD is a little lackluster. I got to give it 6 out of 10 on picture and sound. The special features are where they really fucked up. There's no real special features on this, just previews for some other director video movies, but not even the actual preview for the new kids. Special features, 0.5 out of 10. Okay, that's it for the new kids, man. Fucking rare movie from the early 80s with a nice little pedigree of Sean Cunningham directing and a great fucking cast for early performances from Lori Laughlin, Eric Stoltz, James Spader, John Philbin. Oh, and don't forget you got Tom Atkins as the inappropriate fucking dad at the beginning grabbing his daughter's ass and shit. I'm sure he probably fucking filled in the scenes after drinking a fucking 48 pack of Milwaukee's Beast and shit. But you know, hey, that's Tom Atkins. That alone should get you to watch this shit.